Hi there, my name is Terry. Welcome back to 5 Minute Velo. Sorry about the civilian clothing today, but the weather outside is absolutely appalling. It's been pouring with rain all day and it's turned very cold. Just about a year ago, I decided I was suffering from cycle acquisition syndrome, which can be summed up by this simple formula, n equals n plus 1, which basically says you can never have too many bikes and you keep acquiring them. So I began to think, do I need all these bikes or can I get away with one bike? One bike for all of my cycling needs. So I started to look into this and I decided because of the technology that was available these days and because of my shrinking cycling requirements that maybe I could have one bike that would fit at least most if not all of my cycling needs. So it was about this time last year I started looking around for a bike that would fit those cycling requirements. As normal for me I didn't want to pay over the odds so I started to look on eBay and AliExpress for various components. Those components were assembled into the bike that you can see here. This is my gravel bike and it's a carbon frame, full carbon forks. It has in one of its guises full carbon wheels and a carbon fibre group set. In this video what I want to do is go through the cost of this bike or rather the cost of various versions of this bike because I made it configurable to fit different use cases. So let's go and look at those costs. But first a bit about why I chose a gravel bike frame to base the bike around. This comes down to three reasons. First it had plenty of pack mounts. Secondly lots of tyre clearance. But most importantly disc brakes. Not that I'm a great fan of disc brakes but they do allow me to swap different size wheels in and out. And one of the things I was planning to do is have a set of 700C wheels and a set of 650B wheels. Swapping in and out these wheels and tyres, changing the saddle, putting a seat pack on and taking it off allowed me to have a number of different configurations which gave me the flexibility I was looking for from this bike. I'll present the costs in a spreadsheet format so you can see the cost of the individual parts. Just stop the video to see the details. Let's start off with the bike with 700C wheels. This is the bike. The wheel rims are carbon fibre and moderately deep section. And here is the spreadsheet of the costs. The bottom line comes to just over £1,500. As for those 650B wheels, I did manage to get a pair from eBay. These were new and cost me just over £100. I wasn't expecting much, but when I got them they were actually quite decent. Here's the bike fitted with those wheels. And here are the costs. The bottom line for this configuration is £1,250. When I was out at a cafe earlier in the year, when this bike was somewhat cleaner than it is now, I should say this bike had the carbon fibre wheels on at the time. I got talking to some other local cyclists and one of them took an interest in this bike. He asked me how much it cost and where I got it from. So I told him that I built it up myself and I asked him to guess the cost. He said around about £3,000. So when I told him that it was a little over £1,600 he almost fell over. So not only do I think it's good value but it seems like other people do too. However, the value also depends on how well it works. Now I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I'll cover the bike and the various configurations to suit the different use cases in my next video in this series. From me, until that next video, it's goodbye.